Finding the force, pressure, and area is pretty straightforward when you use the information in this graphic, but sometimes when you're dealing with a metric system, it can get a little complicated when you have to juggle between kilopascals, newtons, centimeters, kilograms, meters. In this video, we're going to go through a couple of examples using the metric system and finding force and pressure, and hopefully we'll make this a little clearer for you. Here's our first example. Find the pressure needed to generate a force of 125 kilograms with a cylinder diameter of 25 centimeters, and give your answer in kilopascals. Okay, so we look at our diagram, and it says force, pressure, area. Cover up what you need. You need pressure, and you'll see that it says force divided by area. So we're going to find the pressure, which is going to be in pascals, and it's going to be force of newtons divided by an area of centimeters of, sorry, of meters squared, but we have centimeters, so we're going to have to do a little bit of converting. Okay, so what do we have? So force must be in newtons. We have uh, 125 kilograms for force. We know that one kilogram is 9.8 newtons, so if we take 125 kilograms and multiply it by 9.8, we'll get 1,225 newtons. So then we have the right units for pressure. Now to find the area, we have a diameter of 25 centimeters that gives us a radius of 12.5 centimeters, but you see we have to have our area in meters. It's easier, I think, to convert the centimeters to meters first before you square it. So we're going to go ahead and convert it before we square it. So area equals pi r squared, pi times 12.5 centimeters squared, and there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so if we divide by 100, move the decimal place over 2, we end up with 0.125 meters. If we take 0.125 meters and square it times pi, we get 0 0.049 squared meters. Okay, so now we have our force in newtons and our area in squared meters, and we are ready to find our pressure, and we multiply them together. And when we do, sorry, we don't multiply them together because we look at our formula and it says to divide. Pressure equals force divided by area. And this bar right here means to divide. We're going to end up with 25,000 pascals. But the problem asks for kilopascals, and there's 1,000 pascals and a kilopascal. So we take this and divide by 1,000, and you end up with 25 kilopascals. Okay, let's look at our next example. Find the force generated if you have 450 kilopascals of pressure and a cylinder diameter of 20 centimeters. And give your answer in kilograms of force. Okay, so we need force. We're going to cover up force and it tells us that we need pressure times area. Okay, so pressure times area is pascal and meters as units. So we've got 20 centimeters. It gives us a radius of 10 centimeters. And we want to put that into meters. And I think that it's just easier, again, right away to convert the units before you multiply by something else. So we're going to divide 10 by 100, 1, 2, and if we end up with 0.1 meters. So our area is going to be pi times 0.1 squared, and we end up with this number right here. Then we're going to find our pressure, and the pressure was 450 kilopascals, and we just have to multiply by 1,000 to get to pascals. So force equals pressure times area, multiply them together, and you end up with a force of newtons, 14,137.2 newtons but we were asked to put it into kilograms. So remember the conversion, it's 9.8 newtons per one kilogram. So we're going to divide by 9.8, and we'll have our answer of 1,442.6 kilograms. All right, so to wrap this up, in metric, we have force in newtons, our pressure is pascals, and areas in square meters. And you don't have to remember this, you just have to remember to look at your conversion sheet. You can find the conversions you'll need. One kilogram is 9.8 newtons. 1,000 pascals is one kilopascal. 100 centimeters is a meter. 
And we didn't use this one, but sometimes if you square your centimeters first, you have to convert into square meters. It's 10,000 square centimeters is one square meter. I hope this video makes these force pressure area problems and metric a little bit easier for you. Good luck.